What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Ace Wolf RJ. And I'm back. It's been a long, long time. A long, long time. And before I start, I just want to say I recorded an hour and 30 minutes worth of gameplay for y'all. Just for it to be corrupted. It was like my audio wasn't going through them, and it was just the gameplay. Like, you know, if y'all want to see that, that's on another day. I'll see, send y'all a link to my private YouTube channel, you know. But this is how we're going to do this. We're gonna, I'm going to give y'all some raw, unedited gameplay. I'm going to give y'all about maybe like two or three videos of this for y'all to decide if y'all like it or not. Then I'm going to just start doing missions and stuff like that. But right now, you're going to see me walking around, you know, doing some shit. Like, you know, call finisher, doing what he doing. Just doing random stuff. But, you know, right now, we're playing something that Red Dead 2. I got my horse over here, Chestnut. Come on, we're going to see. We're going to say what's up to Chestnut. All right. Oh, by the way, this is, um, this is, um, Arthur Morgan. I don't worry. No, 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 no. Wait, this chestnut right here, and this Morgan, Arthur Morgan. Yeah, yeah, that's his name. All right, so we're about to get into this real quick. Go ahead and start this. You know, it's, it's a pretty crazy adventure so far. It's pretty good. We're going to see what's going on. We're going to starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if there's game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right, let's head out. All right, so basically, I'm Arthur Morgan. We part of this on um, Room Two Outlaw Gang, you know, Outlaw for 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 life. And we under somebody named um, Dutch. I'm okay. Apart from this hand, stupid mistake. Still bad. It'll be fine in a day or two. And basically, we in the middle of the fucking winter, and you know. Come on, Charles. Shut the fuck up, bro. Let me tell you. Tell tell the people what's going on. You'll be fine. So. Oh God damn it. We're gonna find something to kill. It ain't no Driscoll. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Uh, yeah, Odrissos is the we'll game that we fight now, so we've been in like 11 now. years <sighs> and counting with this game. Now it haven't been 11 years, but it's been a while. This has been part of this, been in this war with this game. Getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the Odrissos. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. 
yeah, the cinematic camera views is amazing. Uh, I always forget I gotta keep walking when it goes. But yeah, we probably we, uh, fall on the Dutch. And Dutch is like the leader of the game, stuff like that. We trying to find our way back to back west, but we gotta make some money before we go. Because you know, once we make some money, we're gonna be living good and we ain't gonna be worrying about this gangster shit no more. You already know how we rock it. So we gotta make some money first. And right now, we ain't, we ain't making no money right now. No money right now. It's still the beginnings of the game. You know, it's like, I'm like four missions in. It's about to be the fifth one. So, y'all didn't miss that much. This is good. Let's look down this way. The winds died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad. But if it's too strong, they won't move. Now, shh. Stay quiet. Easy. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. What you see, man? You've been here recently. How can you tell? Nothing not. Let's walk it from here. You don't need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. Yeah, you right. Scare everything around. You right. You right. You right. I'm gonna get this bow. Cool thing I like about this is that um, you gotta take stuff off your um, uh, off your horse. And you gotta, you can hold it in your hand. Keep down. You can't, you can't. Quietly. Like the other GTAs where you, um, where you just have like 16 million weapons on you. This one you gotta, you gotta keep it in your hand. All right, so where, where we going? I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Huh. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Well, I just went through that fucking tree branch. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. I guess I don't need the eagle eye anymore. I kind of just see what is going on. What? I, oh man, I knew it went this way. Uh, I huh. Oh, it's a little small baby rabbit. Like little rabbit feet. Wait, look. There they are. are where, you ready where? with that bow? Aim for their head or neck. I don't see him. Oh, I see him. Get good tension on the string before releasing. Just don't overdo it. Oh, that's what I do. Alright. Man, you seen that? That focus. I'm just start bowing arrow on people. Can I pick the arrow back up? That's a real question. Oh, I can pick the arrow back up. What are we doing with this? Okay. I see it, I see it, y'all see it down there? Yeah, man. 
You may. Oh, I got it. I got this one. Oh, no, 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 no. What? No, no, no. Yeah, don't move. Yeah. Man, it's cold. Oh, it's two of them. Alright. I need some stamina back. I didn't know what did it. I'm trying to pull back on it. Oh, they're moving. Oh, wait. wait. No, no, no. Not that. I need to get my stamina back. How you get your stamina back? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, no. That's not it. There we go. I got some stamina back now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There we go. Well I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay. There we go. Oh, what's this weight by like 50, 60, 70, maybe 80 pounds? Let's see. Alright, deer. Oh, white tailed deer are found in a variety of habitats across the state, but are commonly are common to the forest and New Hanover, Lemonon, and West Elizabeth. Their herbivores diet includes grasses, nuts, fungi, twigs, and fruits. Alright, cool. Keep your distance. Now we need to know about them. All we need to know. Kill two, track two, 50% total. Progress, okay. Cool, so I guess I need to kill... Uh, equipment, fish. I ain't getting no fish. Gains, yeah. Got all that. Yeah, got all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. How am I running? this thing on my back where's on um, Charles come on chestnut chestnut I need you chestnut I need you come on Throw that here and let's go. chestnut what are you doing oh you nasty chestnut you are nasty. I can't believe you just did that, Chestnut. Yep. Alright, let's go meet up with Charles. And we got two days. Get that horse in line, Arthur. What the fuck? Come on, Charles, you need to Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> yeah, you ain't never that. lying. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We'll still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Watch Jose it. will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. 
careful. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> oh, yo, we saved this one girl in the first mission. Home, Sandy. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll oh, see. Oh, Sandy, something like she that. Have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Easy. I like how you said stay back and you go straight towards the bear. Straight towards the bear. Oh, the bear's walking away. You lucky. Oh, you lucky. You lucky, Charles. Because I was on your ass, Charles. I was already doing that, Charles. Way ahead of you, Charles. Ain't that your real name? Probably like Luther or some shit. Six, maybe seven what? months. Any of this black water mess being up here? Ah, uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No, no, not at all. I just I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Yeah, oh, Dutch yeah. is different, man. Dutch is certainly different. Mm -hmm. he treats me fair. Most of you do. But for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. Or never. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. I've been with them since, years. since I was a little old boy. You taught me to read. You taught me to read, too. right? Me a few Put my pants up. I'm sure. God saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Hmm. A little more, more backstory about. How's that new horse? He's oh, right. chestnut. Oh, yeah. He'll do for now. What do you mean for now? I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I like these ride alones. You, you learn a lot from these ride alones. Hope y'all like the ride alones too. Ride alones pretty cool. 
learn a little bit about Morgan. Off the Morgan. Backstory. Learn a little bit about Charles. Good old, good old mission. Good old mission. Come on, Chestnut. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. There's a lifetime of practice to master. Man, these graphics are so good. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <coughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one if you dumped on the floor there. Oh man, y'all gotta close your eyes, man. Oh man, close your eyes, man. Oh Jesus Christ. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these, sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting. After all these years. <laughs> yeah. well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> I feel like it legit takes about like 30 minutes to an hour. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I like the auto save. Take about like 30 minutes to an hour, maybe two, three at the most. Skin animal did that in about 10 seconds. Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. For the moment, just rest. Partner. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in black water. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? 
Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Uh, he's a big railway magnate, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him? Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Dutch sound like somebody. His voice sounds so familiar. I just can't put my finger on it right now. Riding deep. It's about one, two, three, four, five, maybe six of us. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscoll, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Morgan. Have you got a problem with that? Off the Morgan. Uh, if you keep your head for once, you worry about yourself, huh? Enough. Yeah, Micah's kind of a fucking idiot. We're gonna need to move past. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep, Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. Clear. Crystal clear. No. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. Man, this game is so beautiful, man. It's like I'm looking at a goddamn movie. If I stop talking at times and it's like kind of quiet, I'm just admiring the game. Boy, this, what all oh, they got to offer? Oh man, look at this. It's like a movie, man. Man, if all the missions are like this. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good game. I trust Dutch. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Whoa! Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Let me go check on Bill. Yeah. Hey, Bill. How you getting on? 
okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. I had to come over here and grab it. I'm on the road again. Oh yeah, I'm on the road again. All right. I'm right, gonna do a little cut, cut here. Da, da, da. I'm gonna connect it right okay. there. Da da. Good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Are you sure? Bill, are you sure? All right. Come on, chestnut. All fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? Everything's so. tough. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Oh, wait. Hold on, wait, wait. Tom, no, Tom, no. That includes you, Arthur? Alright, hold on, hold on. I know how to do this. I remember how to do this. You gotta put on, gotta put on the bandana. What? God, oh, God damn it! Why are you doing this, Arthur? Jesus Christ, I'm doing what they telling me to do. Just pull up your band panel. Oh, that's a <laughs> that's a pistol. Uh There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I fucking suck at video games, bro. Gentlemen, it's time. It's time, man. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. God damn it, Bill. Shit, no, what? God. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. So it's my fault. Come on. You're pathetic. You know that? Uh -huh. Oh man, all you gotta do was follow the damn train, CJ. Oh, we jumping. Oh shit, god damn it, Charles. Who's that? Javier? Escuela? Oh, there's Lenny. Come on, Lenny. Okay. Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He fell. The others will get him. Come oh, on, we need to stop this train. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? Yes, you go. You got it, Lenny.
Got him, Lenny. Sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. I'm okay. Come on, Lenny. We gotta hurry. We have to stop this train. That's what we're doing, kid. God damn it. Lenny! Lenny! Mother. Motherfucker. Get your ass on somewhere. We have to stop this train. Can I aim? There we go. Still okay? I think so. Good. Damn, he's got an arm. Who is this guy? Doing good, kid. Where the hell are you? I don't know. Oh, shit. Look, they're coming out of that car. You're not getting out of here alive. Gonna get out of there. Fuck are they? Good shoot, kid. I can see now why the Otriscals brought so many boys up here for this. Parker, get over here. You two all right? Yes. Let's get the money and go. Let's get the money and go. Last... Lord. Yes, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it doesn't right. matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Oh, this gangster shit right here. Unless you got a death wish. I'd step back, fellas. Train. I got it. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. 
You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Oh, shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Hmm, took a cigar. Get in there. Some fine brandy. Just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <sighs> Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot no, of sugar. This looks like some. some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I'm not robbing another boat as long as I live. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> oh, we got twenty five dollars. Along now. All right, let's take this fine brandy. There we go. What did you find? These bonds. Are they worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> It's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. <laughs> let's ride. All right, so I kind of established that I'm a savage. So what I'm about to do is. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Stop. Please, no. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. It's because he didn't want to get on the train. What you got on your body? Actually, you know what? I can't even trust this. You gonna die, and you gonna die, and I'm gonna loot you. I'm loot you. Yeah, I just kind of figured that they was gonna send somebody after us because you know they just following orders and I ain't got time for that. I'm trying to keep my people safe. If that mean kill everybody I come across, then that mean kill everybody I come across. It is what it is. I'm on my people. My people won't be safe. All right. How I get up here? There we go. I got some hops.
Come on, chestnut. Going on back. 